Now that we know what a list node is, that it has a value inside of it or data inside of it, and then it also has a reference to the next link in the list. And we've added some methods to it. We can get the value, get next, set the value, and set the next memory reference. What we're going to do is we're going to look at an outer class called myLinkList. And what this is going to do is it's going to be able to manipulate the nodes in certain ways. In order to do that, we're going to establish three values. We're going to use head, which is always going to be the first value in the linked list, current and previous, which are going to help us navigate inside the linked list. All three of these are going to be list nodes of the list node class. And then lastly, we're going to have methods of my linked list we're going to show you in a series of videos how to insert a node, how to insert it in the last or the end of the list, how to delete the first node, how to delete the last load, how to delete any node, and how to search through the list to see if a node is inside of a linked list. Now, just to start our my linked list class, we're going to have three instance variables and as I said in the previous slide, they are all list nodes, head, current, and previous, and we're going to see how they work. And then we're going to have the method implementation. With the method implementation, we're going to look at each method in individual videos and show how they work. Included in this video is how to insert a node at the front of a linked list. Here's the code to insert a value, and we're going to walk through it step by step. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a list, and we've called it list, of my list node class, and it's going to hold string values inside of it. The only one of the three values that we're going to care about is head. And as I said before, head, it's always going to be the first value in the list. And right now it's set to null because there are no nodes in the list. Now, on the list object, we're going to make a call insert first, and we're going to insert cherry. And what it does is it takes the value cherry and it creates a list node. And so we can see the list node right here, and we're just going to say, hey, that's going to be stored at memory reference 13. And we can see the value cherry, and we can see that right now it's pointing to null, meaning there are no more links in this list. Then we go to the if statement, which says if the head is equal to null, well right now the head is equal to null, so we're going to do what's inside of the if statement and head equals new node. So this node now is the head. So head is pointing to this memory reference right here, which holds the first node. The next time we make a call, we're going to insert banana, and we want to insert it in front of this node. So we take banana and we send it down to insert first method, and it's going to create a node with banana and null as its next point. Now, we don't want null to be the next point, but we're going to see how the code is going to handle that. So the first thing that it does is it checks to say, hey, is head null? Well, head is not null because it's pointing to this node, so we're going to do the else statement and the else statement first says new node set next head you saw right here it changed the next value from null to the memory reference which would be this entire node right here not just cherry but the entire node and then what it does is it says this node is no longer the head because it's no longer the front of the list so head is equal to this node and we reflected the change up here so we're done with that method call. We're going to do it one more time and we're going to insert Apple at the front of the list. It follows the same steps. We pass Apple as the value. Value and its next reference is going to be null. Head is not null, it's pointing to a node. So we're going to go to the else statement. And then we say new node, which is the node that we created, is now set to the old head. And now that we've done that, we can take the head and make Apple the new head, or node 31, and it will be the front of our list. So in this video, we've introduced the idea of my linked list class, which is going to allow us to do various things to a linked list. 
And the first thing that we walk through is how do I insert a node at the front of the list? And also we introduce the idea of a head. The head is always keeping track of where is the front of the list. And we're also going to use it later to say, does the list even exist?